guys, it's Emily, and today I'm here to bring you my BookTube TBR. Now, as you'll probably know, BookTube Adon is a week-long read-a-thon going from July 30th to August 5th, and there's seven prompts, so I got seven books to show you, but I'm going to be upfront and say that there's no way I'm going to get all these seven books done in one week, so I'm just making this my August TBR as well. So, I hope to get all seven of these books read in August. But let's just get right into it. The first prompt is that you're supposed to pick two books and then flip a coin to see which one you're going to read first. And for this, I'm going to pick um, Jane, Aust Jane Austen at Home by Lucy Worldly. And then my second book I don't have yet because I've ordered it from Interlibrary Loan. And that is When We Were on Fire by A.D. Zirnan. And when that comes in, I'll show it to you in my wrap up. But, so let me get the coin. One second. All right, I got my handy dandy quarter, so I'm gonna make um, when we were on fire heads and um, Jane Austen, Jane Austen at home tails. So here we go. It was heads, yay! So that means I'm gonna read when we were on fire first. So the moment it comes in, I'll start reading it. The second prompt is to read a book about something that you want to do, and something that I want to do is get paid to write. And, you know, that doesn't necessarily mean being a published author, but just to get an article in a magazine someday, or maybe to do, you know, do an academic book that gets published and I get paid for that. Just whatever that means. But I would like to get paid to write something someday. And for this prompt, I'm doing The Real Thing, Lessons on Love and Life from a Wedding Reporter's Notebook by Ellen McCarthy. Ellen McCarthy was, or maybe she still is, the like wedding reporter for the New York Daily Post. And so she literally gets paid to go around to people's weddings and write them up. And she also is in charge of like writing about wedding trends and all sorts of things like that. So I'm really excited to learn more about her work as an author. And this seems sort of like a self-help book as well. So I'm really looking forward to this one. And this one's pretty short. And it was short, like this is a smaller book compared to like this book. See how much smaller it is? So I don't think this one will take me very long to read at all. The third prompt is to read a book to movie adaptation and then read and then watch the adaptation. And for that, I'm going to read Hidden Figures by Mark Margot Lee Shetley, and I've already seen this movie once, but we saw it like the week it came out, and I think like the, maybe even the day it came out, and so we were in this very full theater, and we got there kind of late, so we had to be like at the very front where your neck cranes up, you know, and so I was not... I was focusing more on the back of my neck hurt than actually watching the movie. So I'd like to rewatch it. So I'm going to read this and then rewatch the movie. So I'm really looking forward to that. Oh, and I've, this is about, um, I haven't really been saying what these books are about. This is about the three women who worked for NASA during the space flight era back in the 1960s and how they overcame racism and things like that. So I'm really looking forward to learning more and getting a more in-depth picture of the movie. The fourth prompt is to read a book that has green on the cover and you can't see it but I'm going to read A Story of Life by Lee Kramer and I'll get a picture for you for my wrap up but it's definitely got green on the cover so it fits the prompt. And this was the one of the books of my August or my July TBR that I didn't get to so I'm moving it over to August and this is the it's a romance novel about a girl who owns an art gallery but she has to come home because her grandma's really sick and she has power of attorney and she meets a guy and presumably they fall in love so yeah I'm looking forward to this one and this one's on my Kindle of course. Book five is to read a book while wearing the same hat and I have not decided which hat I'm going to wear but I'll definitely show you it in my wrap up but the book I'm going to read while wearing my hat is Jane and His Lordship's Legacy by Stephanie Barrett and this is the eighth book in the Jane Austen mystery series I've been reading one a month and I'm planning to even wear the hat even if I don't um, complete this during the week of Booktubathon so even past Booktubathon I'll still be reading it wearing a hat whenever I'm reading this book. So um, I don't know too much about this except I think Jane is going to be solving some kind of mystery in the past of her friend Lord Harrell. So I'm really looking forward to this one. And then for the last one, uh, you're supposed to read a book 
with a beautiful spy. And for this one, I'm picking A Year of Marvelous Ways by Sarah Winman. I just think the spy is very beautiful. And of course, the cover is very beautiful. And all I know about this one is it's about a friendship between, I believe, a young uh, boy and then a young, an older lady. And I love books with older protagonists. Uh, one of my favorite books of all time is The Unlikely Pilgrimage of Harold Fry. So I'm really looking forward to this one. And yeah, I've had this on my TBR for a while and I got this actual book for Christmas last year. So I'm really looking forward to finally get to this. And then the last prompt is to read seven books. And so for that one, I'm going to, oh, not that one. For that one, I'm going to do Jane Austen at Home by Lucy Worsley, which was my other one from the first prompt. And this one is about um, Jane, all the places that Jane Austen lived and how they influenced her work. And I think Lucy Worsley might even go visit some of them. I, don't quote me on that. But I actually put this on my TBR for nonfiction November last year, and I never got to it. So I'm looking forward to picking it up again this month in August. And yeah, so I'm really looking forward to all these books. I'm looking forward to the camaraderie a uh, book to be done next week, and again, I'm not expecting to finish all seven of these books. I'm planning to have them take the whole month. I've been reading about seven or eight books every month this year, so I think it's a pretty standard TBR for me. So I'm really looking forward to these books, and I'm really looking forward to uh, Booktube Adana. I love watching everybody's Booktube Adana TBRs, so I thought I'd put up my own. So I hope everybody's having a great day, and well, the day I'm filming it is the day of Dewey's reversal thon so I hope everybody's having a great time doing that if you're participating, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye!